How you doing, my friends and ficuses? You know what today is? It's another day where I done went on the intranets, the interwebs, and I done used my old 24% APR credit card, honey. We gonna unbox today. Boop. So here we go. So let me go ahead and get to the uh, to the mess right here. Let me go ahead and get up in here. Oh, I, I damn near did. Lord have mercy on my hand. Who the hell packed this? TSA? Jesus. So anyways, every Sunday on Instagram Live, um, a good, sweet, kind friend of mine, um, her handle is Apartment Botanist. Her name is Alessia. She has 200 plus tropical plants in her apartment in uh, the Big Juicy Apple. She also does um, really cool things with like Monstera pens and everything. She is a packaging queen. She does amazing, amazing things with how she packages. But she does a crystal sale with her mom, Mama Botanist, every Sunday um, for four hours. And you go on there and you're like, boop, I want this one, boop, I want this one. Um, they are super cool, super sweet, local business, um, uh, small business, you know, support local, small business, I like this stuff. Um, crafty queen, she's just doing it. But I, let's see, now I'm going to go ahead and be honest. Girl, there ain't no invoice in here, which is fine, because it's all digital, save a tree, all that stuff. But I'm going to be honest, honey. Quarantine, we in lockdown again. Quarantine uh, gets my goat. I don't even know what day it is. Please don't expect me to know the exact names of these crystals. I, however, will tell you what she is on why I use crystals, because I'm one of the people that believes, um, you know, Premium air quality, premium light quality. Let me turn this humidifier on. We're going to get into that too. Um, you know, light and crystals play a big part in a healthy, happy home garden and your house plants. So, because you got to think about it, all this is in the ground anyway. Help make their house, your home, which is now their home, help make that, you know, like the ground. So, um, I'm going to be very rough with these, and I will tell you, I buy crystals like I buy wine. Is the bottle pretty? I don't know. Uh, hunty. But, so, here's what I'm going to do. So, I bought three this time. Um, I bought two last time that are still not going to be here. I was going to wait, but then I was like, no, I've already waited. Now I've already forgotten most of the stuff. Da, 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 da. So, um... This one is like a zebra style crystallite. I know that one because I made a pun about the nasty powder drink crystallite. So, you know, people can tell you, you know, what they do with these in multiple facets. Um, some people put these in the dirt. Some of these are not very good to be put in dirt because, you know, they can't be in water. Um, the crystal light, I would not put in water because it's a porous stone, so I can go ahead and tell you that'll probably be a problem. Um, but with that being the case, like if you use this table right here as an example, let's move uh, Freddy the ficus. Lord, honey, rubber truth. Honey, always use a rubber uh, for air purification. Get your mind out of the gutter. So what I would do is I would just... I put it near the plant. Of course, if this was the window, I'll um, I'll show you what I do with some other ones on the window sill. But there's Herb. We got her popping, locking, and polka dotting. We're going to put her right there on top of that Lika. Oh! See, Lika, another reason Lika can be cool, back to the original first video, you could put crystals like this on Lika because Lika absorbs moisture from the bottom up you're not pouring the water down so it theoretically would never reach the top um let's do this i'm gonna have to pre-cut these honey because that damn blade is sharp oh now this one i love because this is right on my color scheme honey of just even clothes i wear 
And this is big. Like, so what she does is she goes under there and the number there is the price. So $28. This one, I want to say... Like an Aeronite or some Pokemon name. Whatever the name of your favorite Pokemon is probably the name of this crystal. Agaronite, Agara, uh, Abracadabra, I don't know. But again, I bought it because it was beautiful and shining, shimmering, splendid. Um, so now we up to two. Now, now this one, now this, okay. So she has, th they're thematic. Right? So the last one was Jumanji. So there were so many cute um, animal shapes that her, uh, her company she gets them from um, laser cut them into. Uh, but this one, I do know this one is a polycarbonate uh, crystal. But I love snails. Look at that little snail. Look at her. You're telling me that wouldn't make you turn around and sign on. So, $32. Yes, honey, the checks had come in. The bills had been paid. All my shit was paid. So I said, you know what? We gonna be a prince tonight and a pauper tomorrow. You feel me? So... What I did was, was I got these cute crystals to add to my collection. And what we would do would be, like I said, you just live your best life. So, here, let's do this. Let's do this. So, you see Miss Monstera here. You see Miss Monstera. So, like, if we were in the window seal, what you could do is you could just put these right in here. Live your life. You put your little... Put your little snail there. You see how cute? Oh, we stand. We love. So, um, she also has these new things um, on her site now, where you can do what's called an open box. So, if you want to set, because she's trying to save money on shipping, honey. She's she's green. We're going green. Um, so, if you want to check it out. Um, Entertaining, educational, uh, family business, the whole the whole tea. She is amazing. Apartment botanist. Um, we'll have her thing up here or over here, down here. I don't know where we put it. I, I don't do that part. I just show up to show out. But um, yeah, she is amazing. I've said that. I think this is like the 12th time, but um, another thing that I do, let me grab this one. Okay, so like prime example, we got this right here. So this is what's called sugar quartz. So this was a raw geode. You see, like a raw, I mean, you see how the dirt's still coming off of it? I mean, this is from the earth, honey. This is Mother Earth. We done snatched this out of Mother Earth's loins, honey. So, you see all this in here? This is a selenite uh, wand that I do charge in every full moon. So, this sugar quartz that is here. So, what I do, if it's in like a darker or my plant is getting like whatever minimal light, something I can do is I put this near it. So when the sun will come in, it fractions off and this absorbs light. Listen, 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 listen. If you think for a nanosecond a plant is like, like, mmm, it's too sweet. Mmm, it's too salty. Mmm, it's too whatever. With light, they just want light. I mean, it doesn't matter, like, they want a certain type, either indirect or bright, direct or filtered or whatever. But the great thing about a lot of these crystals is, is when it goes in here and it goes, bing, 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 bing. thank you ancient Egyptians. Uh, it feeds the plant, it gives it some photosynthesis, you know, chlorophyll, borophyll, uh, 
Ignore Phil, whoever Phil is, and if he ain't talking that good stuff, ignore it. But uh, the selenite crystal, I don't know if you can watch, you see how it looks like it's glowing? So these aren't really meant for direct sunlight. Um, a lot of people believe, uh, definitely never put it in water, uh, near water. A lot of people believe that the full moon charges the energy in here and they stay at this cool, bright, illuminated state. Um, but I've always, this is for protection. I do know that. So, I do know that. Um, so, that's what I do. And I've always had a conscious amount of crystals lying around. Um, some good friends of mine, the honey, they went the extra step. When they built their house and they put their fireplace up, they put the crystals in the fireplace. So when you went and sat and had your Christmas photo taken or your birthday photo taken or your christening photo taken, whatever, uh, at the fireplace, you had the good vibes flowing through you. So, um, yeah. Put in any questions you have in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you turn this little bell on that's up here, little bell, ding -a -ding -a -ding. Uh, you'll know when I'm on here flapping my gums and find out and hopefully I've either made you smile, I've made you uh, realize that you didn't know something about plants, um, I've showed you plants maybe you want to ask me a question about, whatever you want. Put it in the comments and I appreciate you and look forward to seeing you next week where we're going to go over and we're going to start our segment into winterizing your home, hunty. Bye.